We went on vacation to Florida. I took our church magazine with us. They were advertising for foster parents for teenagers. We had a big house and we had two kids who just moved on and I thought we could do that. So I talked to John about it and he- I said she was crazy. But he gave in at the end. Yes, I and came you're around. Not, and you're not sorry. I came around. The uh, newsletter we got was from Lutheran Social Services describing a program called the Unaccompanied Minor Refugee Program. And they would have caseworkers and people that would support foster parents. Uh, we became foster parents shortly after that and along with about 10 other families supported the kids as they came uh, from refugee camps in Thailand. Quinn, our first kid came in 1980, October. The culture things uh, were kind of overwhelming for the children. Many of them had been in refugee camp for quite a while, which is a rough, rough go. Quook is the only one who was not a boat person. He walked across Thailand yeah, to through escape. The jungle. All by himself. He uh, traveled at night and slept hidden away during the day. He was about 16 at that time. The kids in Vietnam were from different, what would you say? Social classes. Social classes, yeah. And so Quinn was from a uh, farmer fisher class. Uh, other kids that came later were from the city. There was a lot of uh, interpretation that was not what we expected, not just the, the words, it was distinctions between people. When we first took Quinn to uh, school in Canal Winchester, they, they said, uh, we can't take him. And I said, you don't know the law. <laughs> you have to take him. And there were resources available from the government to provide uh, ESL, English as a Second Language. After Quinn came and we had, we took other kids there, they, they said, yeah, we know what we have to do. <laughs> but so it became easier. He was the pioneer. Quinn's graduation from high school. I think this is the first time we had a pig roast. One of the things in Vietnam that's done on celebrations uh, of special events is to roast a pig. I think that's Quinn tending yes, the fire. It is Quinn. Yeah. At that time, that was a community that was very <clears throat> all white and not engaged in multicultural activities and uh, they didn't have experiences with people of other situations. I think Quinn was called Chinaman. And he tried to explain he was from Vietnam and they, they didn't know Vietnam, you know, even though we'd just been there in a war. Many of these families sacrificed great, great amounts to send their children out. And uh, at first, uh, we were only taking male refugees. But as time went on, there were girls that were being sent too. An and Phum fell in love. And finally got married. Yeah. <laughs> My mother at one time said, uh, you, you should have written a book about this. I said, Mom, we didn't have time <laughs> to write anything down except the chores to do that week, you know. Mary was teaching school full time. She was pursuing her master's degree at the time. I was working full time at AT&T, but we felt very called to do this. I believe it's fair to say that we gained more than we gave. Yeah, I think so. We gained more than we gave because our own biological children have really hooked into being part of the world family. And they consider them brothers. <laughs>